All right. Greetings from this fucking plane of the earth, bro, of existence. <laughs> and you know why I'm saying that? Why I'm saying plane, this plane of existence? It's because today, today's topic is, uh, hold on, let me fucking, oh my god, this dude has so many kids in this van, probably. Damn, that's the longest tinted windowless van I've ever seen. Scary. Alright, but this, we're talking about, if we're in this plane of existence, bro, because today we're talking about ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> Ghost scoob. Like, oh my god. Checking, checking your ass for the ghosts. So you know, Scooby Doo's got a few ghosts up in that asshole, bro. But um, <laughs> so now um, now we talking about you know the different plane of existence, bro. And um, the reason I'm I want to bring up g -g 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 ghosts is because um. Um, god damn it, bro. I'm never getting in this fucking lane. Oh, wait, here's a sh slow shemi, dude. I can sneak in front of, dude. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, damn, he going like fucking four miles an hour, dude. I'd be so pissed behind him. Um, we're talking about the, the other plane of existence, bro. Spiritual. And why are we talking about this spiritual plane, you wanna, you might ask yourself? That's where I was going. Because Tesla and Edison, bro, invented these two fucking, um, one is called, like, the ghost phone. I think that was Edison's. The other one was, like, you know, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. And these motherfuckers were picking up wild-ass sounds, bro, that could or could not have been, you know, like ghost itself you know so they're you know because um because of the theory energy cannot cannot be created nor destroyed i mean they're pretty fucking smart dude tesla and edison are pretty fucking smart so i'm over here like energy cannot be created nor destroyed so when you die where does that energy go and these motherfuckers invented these machines that were picking up the electromagnetism off your damn corpse, dude. <laughs> so your fucking body, your body's producing essentially EDM. <laughs> and that's what they're picking up, bro, off of your body. And they're like, they're like, what is that? That's all you hear, dude. But like, you know, muffly, staticky, electromagnetic-y, and, um, you know. And, uh, well, eventually, with Tesla's invention or whatever, and Edison's, came, I believe it's called EVP. And that's how they detect, I guess, currently, when they go to haunted houses a lot, it's like the most used thing to detect ghosts is EVP, I believe, but I'm going to change the fucking game. Instead of using that shit, dude, instead of using that shit, hear me out, instead of fucking using, are you there? Boop, 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 boop. Are you there? Boop, boop, boop. Literally... What's my mom's middle name if you're there? <laughs> so I'm fucking, you know, fuck that shit. <clears throat> We're going in there with a 90s EDM CD, bro. We're sitting around in a circle. We're throwing maybe 25 glow sticks in a circle, bro. In a pentagram circle. And we're fucking EDM transmitting to the dead, dude. It's just like, 
six dudes essentially raving trying to fucking talk to ghosts, bro. So you're like, <laughs> say something if you're there. <laughs> if you can, <laughs> if you can hear, if you can see me, speak up, and then you're. <laughs> And then, you know, your ghost comes in. Fucking. <laughs> he fucking comes in because he's having fun. And that's why they never fucking show themselves because you're just like, are you there? What does he equal? What does what MC squared equal? You're just asking him shit that he don't give a fuck about. Because ghosts just want to have fun. Ghosts just want to have fun. Ghosts just want to have fun, bro. And you can ask Madonna. Girls and ghosts just want to have fun. <laughs> They're just driving a ghost marrow <laughs> with the top down. <laughs> Wearing gun glasses, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my ghost. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty funny. Um, drinking smoothies and shit. That's so funny, dude. Um. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm done with that. Just know that's a fucking... If that ever happens, you heard it here first. <laughs> EDM EVP. EDM EVP. But today, my story is called The Original Bench Warmer. And this goes out to you, Rick. The pain you caused me. Walking home all those fucking days, bro. All right, I'll get to the I'll get to the morning of this, to the start of this. My brother, as a how old was this man? How old was this man? However old you are when you're in seventh grade. Let's see. Um, so he is in first ten. So he's like thirteen. This motherfucker's in 13. <clears throat> and he's in 13. He is 13. And he essentially does not like shitting. Because he does not like the feeling of something going in and out of his ass. <laughs> We're going to just say that. So this man's so ungay, I guess, that the feeling of his own body penetrating his butt he was he did not want to feel that dude he did not want to feel his own body pretty much molesting him is what the pooping is when you have a hard solid poop dude that's pretty much your body molesting you but you you know you have to consent you can't you can't unconsent with yourself unless you got that multiple personality disorder then you got a court case <laughs> but if you don't got that you know can't sue yourself. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, dude? What are you gonna do if you lose the case? You gonna fucking write a check and shove it in your ass because you owe yourself 500 bucks, bro? <laughs> a month? You're paying rent, rip ass rations? <laughs> but, uh, oh, that's funny. Um,. But yeah, this guy did not like to poop, dude. And this motherfucker would hold it in for like a week, a week. My mom would have to get the X-Lax fucking chocolate, make him eat that shit. So the shit would just have no choice but to shoot out his ass, dude. Because this man would hold it in so hard, my mom had to sneak chocolate into this dude's body. So he'd have no choice but to shit. Think about that. 
It's fucking nuts. Just shit, bro. Just fucking shit. Just shit, fucking shit, fuck. <laughs> wow, I'm getting um, 18 and up for this video, probably. Apparently, you use like, you use like three bad words that like, you better log in to fucking hear this. You better log in. Soft ass YouTube. But, um, you know, if they're on the damn you, I don't know, algorithm, maybe fucking just don't send this to fucking people under whatever, 16. Or whoever doesn't, maybe have a setting where it's like, would you like your, would you like curse words to be allowed? Have a setting that the motherfucking, uh, your little app won't show any videos with any curse words. Just fucking have a setting. Don't just start fucking canceling everybody. It's crazy. Oh, no, mate. Did he say fudge? Oh, he said fudge. <laughs> He's good. He said fudge. He said freaking. He said freaking. Same thing, dude. Same intention. When you say freaking, you're saying fucking. Same intention. Just because you didn't say the word doesn't mean... You're still not wishing the F word on mother effers, dude. Mother effers. Where was I? Sorry. Fucking s <laughs> Just cuss out of nowhere again. Oh, I'm so dumb, bro. <coughs> Worst friend ever. But, um... So Rick doesn't like pooping, dude. It's literally part of being human, Rick. Just poop, bro. Just fuck, just poop. You holding that in, dude? You know what? Holding it in might be gayer than letting it out. Because now you're holding some, you know, this thick, this long in there. Why are you holding that in? Hmm? Huh? Might as well be some anal beads, dude. <laughs> might as well be some anal beads up in there, dude. Anal, anal boot. Poops. But, um, we would have to walk home from school, dude. So, after school, this motherfucker, I mean, the first few days was fine because he could make it to the damn house. And it was fine in the summer, too. I don't care. I'd wait. But this, this particular day, when I've had enough, bro, we were walking home. And this motherfucker... Would just fucking stop. He'd lay down somewhere, curl up like a little ball. And then he'd just fight he'd just take it. He'd wait until he didn't have to poop again. And then he'd be like, okay, let's move on. So now we're traversing he's fucking boom. And then we're walking, and I'm like, what are you doing, dude? You're turning into a fucking caterpillar real quick? <laughs> are you turning into a cocoon? Because if you do, I hope you evolve and get wings, and you can take us home because I'm sick of walking in this cold. Bro. If you holding your poop in, you better turn into something with wings if we're walking home. That's all I'm fucking saying. But, you know, he'd be, like, sitting on a park bench. That's why I call him a bench warmer. The original. Because he'd go to an RTD bus ride bench and just lay down like this. And then I'd have to be, I'm just, and I don't even get to, I don't even get to sit on the bench because he's holding his shit in, in the bench, on the bench. God, this guy. <laughs> but, you know, my mom, you know, it would be a, it's, a, it's such a far trip, bro. And he'd just be laying in people's front yards. And I'd have to, you know, explain to people, hey, he doesn't like to poop. I'm sorry, I'm in your front yard. And he's laying here on the sidewalk in front of your house, dude. This isn't, I'm not in the mob. I didn't whack him. You could tell, you check he's alive. He's just curdled up, either wanting to be a butterfly or holding his poop, dude. I can't tell at this point in life. I can't tell at this point in life, dude. I mean, just 
And he used to hold it in so much, dude, that his, he would poop his um, boxers. He'd poop his boxers because they would slip out. <laughs> My mom's ex lex would make him slip out and crap his pants, bro. And you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a saint either, dude. I poop my pants all the damn day. I got more poop to pant ratio than Rick. For sure. Hands down, dude. Hands down. One time, dude, I pooped in my underwear. And this is when the movie Flubber came out. I was like four. I was like four years old. Or five or something. Flubber came out, dude. Or we had it on tape or something. And then I grabbed it through the underwear and was like, it's flubber. And I'm like squishing it and pulling it through the underwear though, not the actual shit. So I guess technically it was still touching my, it's probably seeping through the, the cotton. But yeah, I got, I've pooped my pants more times than Rick, but he's done it too. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm no, I'm no poop saint. I'm no poop saint, bro. But, uh, you know, my mom solved the case with an x lax case. <laughs> Fucking straight up, dude. Made that guy have no choice but to either shit your pants or go into the toilet, dude. You had no choice, Rick. That's much love. And this, all right, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. I just wanted to talk about the EDM thing a lot more than... Rick holding his poop in all the way to the damn house, dude. That sucked. It was so cold, bro. And when you weigh like 30 pounds in sixth grade like I did, you freeze. My fucking bones, bro. Bones, dude. Uh, fucking wind blowing through my bones like that SpongeBob video. Uh, uh, Episode where the jellyfish follow him because he's playing a song. That that was playing through my bones. And if I was underwater, I'd be getting chased out by jellyfish, dude. Ready to fucking have their way with my holes. <laughs> but um, I don't know. This goes out to. Rick, I miss you, dude. You're all in that crazy party mode, which I understand. I understand. I understand the party mode. Well, I don't any. I don't anymore. But I do. But I do understand. And I don't know. I'm a, I'm out for a, more of an intellectual intellectual high more than a drunk high bro I like learning shit uh, creating things obviously create shit left and fucking right but that still doesn't mean I don't miss you bro and you never come see your motherfucking little dudes to see him more. What am I fucking calling you out for, bro? We need to see him more. Or else, I mean, I guess Zoe sees you a ton. But the twinsies, bro, they need that, that Ricardo nurturing, bro. That Rick nurture. Nurture. They need that cool uncle shit, bro. So maybe lay off the party in like a fucking 20%. 20 fucking percent, bro. Either way, though, you're a grown man. You do what you gotta do. I ain't gonna judge nobody's lifestyle because I'm a fucking maniac as well, dude. So to everybody that's 18 and up, because this shit's gonna get fucking um, blacklisted or whatever the fucking word is, shut down and restricted, because I used to, like, fucking date bad words whatever I don't even care this is, you know I do these for whoever to get a laugh out of it 
and I do it for myself. But when I have dementia, I need to remember who I am. I'm gonna be uh, Drew Barrymore in 51st Dates, pretty much is what I'm trying to say, dude. And whoever's dating me at that time needs to fucking put that tape in to show me how much of a badass I am. Was. So I'll see all the cool shit that I did. Let me throw in a Chris Brown backflip up in there. A yeah times three backflip in the video. And then I'll I'll remember everything. The second that one dude on the yeah times three does that huge backflip in the alley. That's not physically fucking possible, dude. He's like he's like 10 feet higher than like a lady standing next to the backflip. It's insane. And he used the floor. But there might have been a trampoline, dude. That's a conspiracy I've been trying to trying to crack. If Chris Brown used trampolines in the Yeah Times 3 video. We need to fuck. We need to get down to the bottom of this. But alright, this is dragging out. Um, I hope you guys have a good day, good night. I am working night shifts. Obviously, I do these when I go do night shifts most of the time. Oh, and it's been a rough week. Luckily, it's like raining. It's not fucking hot and bones, you know? Hot and good. So that's good. good. I gotta pee, guys. I've been like fondling my penis for a minute, dude. You know when you gotta like keep messing with it to like... I mean, if you're a man. <clears throat> I don't even know if I'm just playing with myself. Ah, anyway. I'm just, I'm touching it so I don't pee. Letting you know. I'm touching it so I don't pee. Because if I, if I do this to it while I'm driving, I won't think about it because I'm like pinching the urethra slowly, like this. So it's pushing it back into my balls. Ladder. <clears throat> but I don't know. Like I said, have a good day. And exclude everything I just said out of your brain, dude. Don't even think about me doing that while I'm driving, going 60, going 60 miles an hour, touching my penis.